We begin now with the deadly arson here at 41st and Wayne last month. George Graham died in this fire. A month has passed and Graham's son is anxious for answers. Today he spoke with Cynthia Newsom about the deadly fire and what arson investigators may find. The scars on this building pale in comparison to the wounded hearts grieving over what happened here. It's just now starting to sink in that, you know, his dad is gone. On April 18th, fire gutted this house in the 4100 block of Wayne in Kansas City. 78-year-old George Graham didn't make it out. Now, almost a month later, Graham's relatives are still waiting for answers. We don't know what happens if it was accident or if... If it was uh, arson or what. Arson investigators and homicide detectives visit the house and the family at least once a week. They're doing a great job. I, I, I commend the police department. They've been staying in touch with us, and, and we're just hoping for the best, you know. They could have answers next week. For now, there's nothing they can do but wait. It's not like CSI, you know what I mean, where everything happens overnight. So, you know, they got to do their tests. George Graham was dearly loved by his family, his neighbors, and his fellow church members at Swope Parkway United Christian Church. They are taking his death hard. It would be even more devastating if it turns out that someone deliberately set the fire. Whatever it is, it ain't gonna bring dad back, so it really, you know what I mean? And, but it give us some kind of closure. The house is a total loss. At some point, it'll have to be torn down, but the family isn't ready yet. They're still grieving. For one of Graham's daughters, this house is a memorial. She comes here and sits on the front porch when she misses her dad. Cynthia Newsom, 41 Action News.